So what I did here is Coke can, I cut off the top. The bottom I kind of used an X-Acto knife to get rid of the bottom. And then the two bottoms I put in the back here. And these are the turbines. This is the middle of a um, bicycle wheel that I cut out. And I did it because there's this nice bearing in here and these two threaded screws on either end that allow you to make a shaft. This is a computer fan and these are the bottoms from the Coke cans and the Miller Lite. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to have to do some more cutting to make it possible, but I'm going to put the turbine in the back between the first and second cans. That little lip that the bottom can makes, I'm going to put a paper towel around the inside and soak it with lighter fluid and that will act as the flame holder. And it should make a nice little eddy, which hopefully will drive the turbines and keep the whole thing running. Is we need to put the turbine inside the main engine housing. And that is a Coke can with the front cut off and the middle insert kind of uh, cut off with a razor. So what you got to do in order to fit this in is make four little hole things that you have to kind of bend in. Here's a good shot of one. Um, and that'll allow you to get these uh, supports in. And remember this is the, um, the bearing housing from a bike wheel. And you, I had to drum all away some of the supports in order to make this fit in here. So one of the problems that, that will might happen to you is for me the um, the engine, the main um, what is it called? The bearing supports don't quite fit in the top like they should. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> fix that. I'm going to do a cut down the middle here and um, kind of compress the housing uh, using this. And I will also use this to secure the combustion chamber over the turbines in the back. So before you put on the combustion chamber, um, I need to first uh, put on a flame holding paper towel around this. And if you can see, this will fit over it like that. And there's going to be a little lip inside when the air flows, so the air is going to go and then it's going to be this eddy area. And it should eddy right between this area and the side of the can. So, but in order to keep the fuel there, I'm going to use a paper towel. There's probably better things you could use, maybe cloth or even get like a little tiny hose with little holes there. Um, and that's going to hold the fuel and it also acts as a combustion area. So here's the nearly completed jet engine. Um, you can see I attached the ring around it. That's the business end. The only problem so far that I see is that there is a little um, gap between the first and second Coke cans, which will either draw in air, or in cases if it gets too backed up, it'll actually push out fire backwards. So, uh, one way to fix that would be to Put wadding in there. Um, that would, of course, mean that if fire went backwards, it would burn that. Uh, you could also put foam, glue. I'm just going to probably try wadding, maybe some, some plastic ties. I guess if it melts, at least it'll make a nice, good seal. You gotta put it like in a distance. Yeah. This is the completed jet engine. As you can see, I've made a few minor modifications, one of which is adding the sleeve of aluminum around the uh, combustion chamber and around the original compressor inlet section. 
behind this aluminum sleeve, I've added also a little, um, another lip on top of the, the eddy, or the flame holder that I made the last time. Hopefully, that'll make a slightly larger combustion chamber that will compress the gases a little bit uh, more, and hopefully we will get a sustained combustion until this turns off. So I just have to now figure out a way to make the turbine spin before I light it. So now I am preparing to test the jet engine. I have a Dremel tool that will start the rotation. And first thing I first, I need to light the fuel. Catch on the flame holder and 